So I may not actually give a topic to this. I just want to explain the scripture and uh, we pray. So you will give it a topic. Is that clear? But my goal for this teaching is to snap you out of a world view that is not biblical. That's my goal. That's my goal. My second goal also is to snap you out of the spirit of ungratefulness and depression. Now, my emphasis, the emphasis of this scripture today is the part A. It says he had made everything. Some say everything. everything. Your response is for say everything. everything. Beautiful in his time. That's the part A of that scripture. So the first thing I want you to know is that that God does not operate by AM or PM. God does not operate by what? AM or what? PM. You must know that. So God does not operate by afternoon or morning. Because with Him, there is nothing like morning, afternoon, or night. There is no night nor day with God. It is with man. On that point, you should also know is that God does not operate by our calendar system. The 12th calendar month system was fashioned by a man. This current calendar system of AD that we use was uh, established by a man called Dionysius Exigius. He brought the AD system of calendar. So we are now in 2023 AD. But there was a system, calendar system before this time that is called what? BC. That one operated before Jesus was born. And even at the early times of Jesus, when he was there, they were using the BC system of counting. And the BC system of counting starts from the top to the bottom. Why the AD system of counting starts from the bottom to the top? So that's why in BC, when you see 700 BC and you see 600 BC, eh? 600 BC is higher than 700 BC. That 700 BC is back then. So if you see 600 BC and 700 BC, 700 BC is like 100 years before 600 BC. I hear what I'm saying. So the counting system is down. Whereas AD system, if you see um, 1900 and 2000, you will know that 1900 came first before what? 2000. But if you see 700 BC and 600 BC, 700 BC came first before 600 BC. That's the point. And the point is that it was established by men. So God is not limited by the 12th calendar month system. I want you to really understand that because a lot of people right now are going to fall into the trap of Satan this season because they think that God is limited by the 12 calendars months. So they are going to say, this is December. January just finished. Uh, January has passed. February has passed. March has passed. This is December. I did not marry this year again. I did not do this this year. I have not bought my car this year. I have not done this thing this year. I have not gotten the child this year. I did not travel abroad this year. I, I didn't get my dream job this year. And they delve into depression. They delve into being ungrateful because they think that God is limited by 12 calendar months. So once it's December and it, has, it didn't happen, that means it cannot happen again. God is not limited by, he said, he makes everything beautiful in his time. And his time is not AM, it's not PM, his time is not January, his time is not December. His time is his time.
What it means is that a time can fall into December, a time can fall into January, a time can fall for you over a matter, over your marriage, over your business, a time can fall in 2025, a time can fall in 2024, a time can fall in 2023, a time might have even passed and you're not aware. Because you are you we are we are not discerning that season. So that the fact in December does not make December a special, more special more, more special than February. It's just that the time that he decided to do that thing that he had promised you or was prophesied over you fell on that month. Are you with me? Yes, Are you with me at all? Yes, sir. So it doesn't make December more special than February or make any December. So there's this mentality we have, for example, now it's December. Everywhere is going to be full of festivity. Some people will be dancing, some people will be murmuring, some people will be complaining. Once January reaches, or well, we'll get to the month of January, that's a way we think January is a hard month. January, we are not really expecting breakthroughs in January, two of us. We are not expecting breakthroughs in January because of the way we have been cultured, which is not a kingdom view, it's a world view. So we even start, we even start talking about uh, January in a very, very difficult manner. Say January, ah, this January make a quick finish. We always like to say things like that. January is too long. Let it finish. Let it. Meanwhile, there are some persons that God has marked for January. Now, in God's calendar, He didn't write it January, but just that when that thing will land on earth, it will meet January as a calendar month. If you don't understand this thing I'm saying, you can miss. Maybe God has decided to visit somebody here on the 10th of January or on the 15th of January. And, but the person is not expecting anything. The person is not desirous of it. The person can even abort it with his mouth. He makes all things beautiful in his time. And his time can be any time. For instance, you know, I, I, I. I somebody called me for my village, a particular lady, the, the one that actually married yesterday. So she called me to invite me for the wedding. Well, I thought I wouldn't be able to come because of Shabbat night and the programs that I have this period. She was like, the reason I wanted to come is because it was your prophecy. It was your prayers. Now, God has answered that prayer. I want you to come and witness it. Because I was happy. I said, I thank God because your call is like the fifth or sixth or seventh wedding that is holding this year in my village. And that has never happened before in the history of the village. <laughs> Hallelujah. I told them that when things are going to happen, that you can remember the time I called the unmarried girls out, she inclusive, and prayed for them. The person that married yesterday, she is in her 30s. I think she should be even more than 35. She's close to 40. She should be around 37, 38, 39. What I'm trying to say is that by human standard, it, it, her, time, her time has passed. Do you understand what I'm saying that? By human standard, she's not, let me use the PG, he said, no, no, on her time don't pass, and no, be there rain again. But that's not how God works. He makes all things be, I just was watching the video this afternoon that they sent to the group, uh, the, those that attended the wedding. And I was happy because she was crying when they were in our culture, they were escorting the lady from her father's house. And then she would be crying, and the women would be singing, and all that. And I remember how, you know, that lady, part of why she's crying, is not because she's giving her father's house. It's the remembering the shame, and the mockery, and the reproach, and a lot of things that people have said, being in her father's house for that long. But he makes all things beautiful in his what? Now that it's a time of celebration, eh? did anybody remember that she is 38 again? Everybody came around to what? So I saw some of the week. Mm, sorry, let me not say. I saw some people in that video spraying her money. Even the people that never believed, 
And I believe some of those who were dancing with that were part of people that went to tie something somewhere. But it's just that prophecy has gone for, and it is the time. And it will continue. Oh, you are not with me. Amen. It will do what? Continue. It is not because God is not limited with a 12 calendar month system. This thing that is happening, this it has opened in the spirit, it will continue. It's just that we human beings we follow a 12 calendar counting system, but that's not how God. So for God, so human beings now, the end of this year might be the end of that breakthrough. No, the breakthrough has started. God does not know what is 31st December. That is why the manipulations of man cannot stand when God has decided to visit you. And there's somebody here who have good news. God has decided to visit you. Yes, I say he has decided to visit you. You see, they will also put canopy and gather for you. Not for something bad, but something good too. You see, they will also escort you from your own father's house too. And that cry, everybody is crying, you will also what? You will that good cry. Yes. <laughs> You also, even if tears is not common, put a pony key, put a faucet. Hallelujah. You know, when my mom, they did their own blessing or, or celebration, they wanted to celebrate it. That was 20 years after they married, 2009. Eh? So when they were escorting my mom to my mother's side, she was crying. The thing was not making sense to me. I said, what did she cry <laughs> I said, 20 years, 20 years. <laughs> it's not a new, if a new bride is crying, I understand. <laughs> but it's good. Are you hearing me? Miss T, when your tongue reach, even if she has refused to come out, put, are you hearing me? If you can't pull a bonnet because it's hot, just call somebody. Eh? Call anybody to blow your eye, please. <laughs> To come out. <laughs> Let them see it also. Because God has decided to visit you. They are not in church. I told you that I came with a high spirit today, but you are you are not. Are you in church at all? Yes, sir. And by the way, this is the 26, 27, 28, 29. I will still go for crusade in yes. the village. I think today or tomorrow you will see it on Facebook. I will post it. Amen. Amen. The, the team. The team of this year, I put it in dialect. Eh? What's the meaning of power of God in our language? Yeah. Uh -huh. that, I put it in there, the power of God. Because what of God? That meko, verene mene kompete peletite ta hazis. What did I say? Yeah, no. <laughs> this thing for this year is the power of God. So I put both English and language. If you don't understand language, you understand English. If you don't understand English, you understand what? Wow. But what will happen is what? Power! It will continue. Yes. More will happen. Yes, are you hearing me? Yes. Make sure you are there. Yes, Until it's, and by the way, it's your community. You're not running for anybody. My life. Am I talking to somebody here? Yes. They should come from you. More buildings will happen. More Amen. projects will happen. Amen. More marriages will happen. Amen. More doors will be open. Souls will arise. Amen. Everything that is happening there, I'm thanking God. I'm thanking God. When I, I, the last time I went to my village, I was telling the council that said, the member you came by prophecy. There was no hope for you. And he agreed to it. It's God that picked you. When I, 2018, when I prophesied that a counselor will rise from this village, it has never happened in the history of that village. Two, three years later, that prophecy came to pass. Just like that. When there was no, there was no, and when he even told me the story of how he was connected to the former church, local government church, just from one complaint that happened in the world, that yes, from there, from there, from there, he was picked, okay, can you do me there? From there, it became in there, whatever, whatever. That from there, from there, from there, from there, from there. It was not from there, from there. It's prophecy that's working. It will work for you. Amen. I say it will work for you. 
I say it will work for you. So they are now building projects are going on. All like before. Before one block we stand, it will be 10 years. Before one wedding will happen, 17 years has passed. Hmm? Women, it's only just to get pregnant and go and stay in the boys' house. But say let them gather that canopy and do wedding celebration like that. It's like a yoke. But now it has broken. Almost seven has happened this year. And it will continue to break. And I prophesy to somebody here. Anything that is like a struggle in your life, in your family, in your business, today it ends. Oh my God. I said today it ends. I take the rock of offense and I smash that yoke. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. December is ended, the end of year. Oh, to you is the end of year. To me is the beginning of things. Oh, yes. uh, the, are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. My own 2024 starts happening from now. Ah. It's not, it's not uh, you can see that. It's not uh, as this is December, as the year is ending now. As the, year, the, the year is ending with us, human beings. But it's not ending with God. Because God has no year. So when we start preparing for 2024 for Easter, we are picturing it. We say, okay, anything from September, from this, the miracle will start. It's, as I'm entering the first of January, it's, it's happening. Are you hearing what? My, my, I'm almost tempted to tell you the team of next year. But I will tell you the crossover night. <laughs> Zegede. Zegede. I will tell you. When you get it, you will know that it's our time. Look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor it's our time. It's our time. Say it's our time. It's our time. Say it's my time. It's my turn. Yes, uh, yes, uh, middle come. Because what we are doing is going to be territorial. David, I don't know how many of you are ready for us to shake water cut. I'm, I'm asking this question. I asked it in the Shabbat night. God said I should ask it that Shabbat night. I'm asking it again. How many of you are ready? Yeah. It's not going to be business as usual. It's not going to be what? The day you are going to receive the news that the woman that is sitting down by my side in the church has delivered. Know that something has begun. There are some things I have not shared with you. I will share with you very soon. I will share with you Isaiah chapter 8, what God told me. That us and the children he has given to me were made for what? Science and what? So God told me certain things we have opened up and said when so 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 child is born, then this season has begun. The birth of that child is the sign of the beginning of something. You're not with me. Yeah, with you, sir. When it's time, I will tell you. When I will tell you the thing for next thing, you will know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Everything that is going to happen, you know, as as I, for you, maybe you just believe I say, hey, hey, she, I, my sister has put up what is she born? Boy, what is she born? Yeah, what is it about? This advancing baby. Oh, you know, father. For you, it's father. For me, the sight of that child is the beginning. It's a sign that what God told me some years back has begun. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Because before I even married, God told me who I'm going to marry. He told me the first child I'm going to get and the name and the sex. Everything. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now you will see it. <laughs> it's only her I have told. And she knows. And she's surprised how everything I've told her is coming to pass. She's surprised. I don't want to go into details, but listen to me and listen to me well. He makes all things beautiful in this time. You see, this year that is coming, the time for mad revival in Port Harcourt has begun. Mm-hmm. 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 
see, there is a monthly program God told me that will start from January. It's going to be a monthly what? It's going to be a what? And we announce it fully in the, on the 31st of December. Because he spoke to me. He said, this is, the, and that, he makes all things be. Don't allow anybody to tell you that the year has ended. That means it has, God has ended. Don't allow anybody to make you feel that, oh, 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 January is a dry month. It's dry for them, but it's not dry for me. You are supposed to say it like Mama said this. I thought you have to, to respond. The part of the just is like a shining light that shines brighter and off. Eh? It shines bright and then it reduces and shine. It shines what? Brighter and what? Brighter and what? Brighter and what? My God, my God. For me, there is no January hard season. January will be far better than December. That is the part of the just. Oh God. Change the way you think for you to see what God has said come to pass in your life. Because when you begin to think like the world, you get the result of the world. He makes all things beautiful in his time. My God. My God. So why what do I do? What do I do? Huh? What do I do? Why I'm waiting for the actualization and the fulfillment of what he has said for me in this time. What do I do? What posture should I take? Eh? What posture should I take? Should I show you? Eh? Somebody clap for her. She's the one that got it. Someone say Thanksgiving. Say it again, say Thanksgiving. The posture that you take while waiting for his time is the posture of what? That's it. Give me some 100, let's see. Some 100. You said, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All ye what? Loves. Verse 2. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with what? Singing. Yes. Verse 3. Know ye that the Lord he is God. It is he that hath made us and not we our what? Self. We are his what? People and the sheep of his what? Pastor. Verse 4. Enter into his gates with what? Thanksgiving. And into his courts with what? Eh? Be thankful unto him and bless. So this is a posture that you take while waiting for him to fulfill what he has said to you in his time. You take the posture of thanksgiving. You enter his gates with thanksgiving. You enter his courts with praise. This is why we render thanksgiving unto God. We don't render thanksgiving unto God only when he has done something for us. We render thanksgiving unto God when he has done and when he has not done. Thanksgiving should not be only when he, he has seen many miracle or that. Thanksgiving should not, only when, it should not be only when you have gotten a miracle job, when you have gotten a miracle contract. No. Why the world wants to make you depressed? Why the world wants to make you look foolish? Why the world wants to make you look like your own is different? You know, somebody here was talking to me one time, and I, I'm using this avenue now to correct the person. They said, I don't know why my own is always different. When all that try to do something, immediately I put my own hand to do it. It will no longer work. I don't know why my own. You are actually using your mouth to cause yourself. You are, you are actually buying the idea that Satan is selling to you. He's selling an idea to you that your own is what? Different in a negative way. And you are buying into it. 
Meanwhile, your own should not be different in a negative way. Your own should be different in a what? Positive way. One thing I believe is that if others wrote for that job and they got it when I applied, I didn't get it. It's because that's not the place of my blessing. But if that's the place of my blessing, that door must open unto me. You're not with me. Don't allow the world make you to define your life by the happenings around you. If there be anything yet undone that you felt should have happened in the year of 2023, and to you it has not happened, subscribe to this channel, the channel of thanksgiving. Why? Because you understand that with God there is no 12th calendar moon. With God there is no January, there is no December. With God all things are what? And are possible at all times. So you subscribe to Thanksgiving. Not to murmuring. Not to complaints. Not to, 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 to the lies of the devil. Not to the lies of public opinion. There's another thing I wanted to tell you, but I won't tell you today. This one I have told you is enough. Or let me just tell you. After you subscribe to Thanksgiving, the next thing you should do is you should give your miracle a name. I wanted to teach that as a separate teaching. That's why I didn't want to say it. But let me preach it today. Sometime maybe inside next year or something I will teach you. Should I print it today? Should I print it today? Okay, go to Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 9. Verse 6. Isaiah chapter 9. And verse 6. I want us to read Isaiah chapter 9. Verse 6. Want to go. For unto us a child is what? A hair? And unto us a son is what? Given. A hair? And the government shall be upon his shoulder. A hair? And his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Take note. I hope you know who this scripture was talking about. Who is it talking about? Jesus is the child and Jesus is the son that was given. The prophet Isaiah captured him in prophecy. For unto us a child is born and unto us a son is given. That was the description of the miracle that was to come to Israel. And, and the government shall be upon his what? This child, this miracle we are talking about is a child, is a son, and then he's going to be a king. But you see, describing the miracle is not enough. Because for that miracle to be actualized physically, it has to be given a name. You have not gotten it. You didn't get it. Let me repeat it again. This prophecy was in Isaiah. Isaiah prophesied this thing about 700 years before Jesus was born. About how many years? 700 years before what? And if you read Galatians chapter 2, the Bible said, is it Galatians chapter 2 or chapter 1, that in the fullness of time, Christ was born of a woman. In the fullness of time, in the fullness of time, Christ was born of what? Have you read that before? Fullness of what? Can you take us to that Galatians? Let me show you. Is it I think it should be around chapter 2 of Galatians or chapter 1? Have you seen it? Yes? He said, but when the fullness of don't forget what we were talking about earlier. He makes all things beautiful in his word. In his word. When the fullness of time was come. This fullness of time 
was not the calendar of man. It was not the 12 calendar counting system of man. Remember, Isaiah had prophesied that 700 years ago and said, Unto us a child is what? Born. And unto us a son is what? Given. And when the fullness of time was come, God sent forth that son, his son, made of what? A woman. Made what? Under what? The Lord. God sent his son in the fullness of time. In the fullness of time. But before that time came, the children of Israel, by the prophet, had to give that miracle a name. Why they are waiting for the fullness of time? For unto us a child is born, and unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name, why are you giving the name when he is not born? Because you need to name your miracle for him to materialize. God collect those things that be not as though they were. They are those things that be not. They do not exist, but God calls them. Because those things that be not, He wants them to be. So for them to be, first of all, He has to call them by name. I think it's a, a give me Isaiah seven verse fourteen. Isaiah 7 verse 14. Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall what? Conceive. And bear a what? A son. And you shall call his name what? What does Emmanuel mean? Eh? Eh? But as at this time, Isaiah was giving this prophecy, the people did not understand it because the miracle he's talking about has not happened. Which virgin is going to conceive? But he said, in God, if you want that thing that he has designed for you to happen in his time, what do you do? One, you take the posture of what? Thanksgiving. Two, you call it by name. While you are waiting for it to manifest. So, as you are, uh, what's that? Chisa. You know, say, I don't, it's like something is wrong with me. I don't know why others are getting it and I'm not getting it. I don't know why, I don't know why me, my own things are different. I don't know why. You, do you know what you're saying? You are calling a wrong name. Instead of you to say that, what should you say? Me, my own case is different, positively. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I'm getting the job, even when there is no application. I'm getting the miracle job. My promotion is here. Even when you know that it doesn't look like there's going to be what? Promotion. You're not still understanding. Are you believing God for a life person and come next year? Eh? Have you named your wedding? Have you named your partner? Have you given him a name? So, my husband, I'm going to call him Sweetheart, for example. <laughs> Have you started calling that name? Have you given your wedding card a name? Because your wedding day has to have a name. Our own was what? Fevic 2023. So, you start saying Fevic 2023. You are calling it a name. You, that's your wedding. You don't have it. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Give the miracle a name. He said his name shall be called Wonderful. His name shall be called Cancelor. His name shall be this child that will be born. This seed we are waiting for. This Messiah I am waiting for. This miracle I am waiting for. Oh God, I thank you because you are not through with me. I thank you because you are not limited by January, December, country. Thank you because my January is not hard. Oh, and my January shall be wonderful. My January shall be. Are you, are you with me at all? Call it a name. What you want 2024 to be, call it that name. Yes. He said his name shall be called wonderful, counselor, mighty God, everlasting father, prince of peace. What they expect him to manifest. 
Okay, you now you are expecting a marriage to happen the same. For example, you are hoping on God. And then when you ask him marriage breaking, you know, said, God, I beg you. This one when marriage they crash everywhere, everybody then God I think that like that man just stay my own. No? <laughs> you are putting your bed up. Rather instead you are going to say, Oh God, I thank you. Because in the midst of all this crisis, my marriage will be heaven or earth. You have called your marriage a name. What's the name? Heaven or earth. Oh God, this one people are dropping out in school. God, I better go if I get admission. Or this one in the court is rejecting people. Oh God, I better go. God, I better go. <laughs> Instead of you to be praying for Freshers Night in JCCF, Freshers Night program, you should call your miracle in him. I say, oh God, I beg you, 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 I cannot be dropped. You're not with me. He said, God, collect those things that be not as though they were him. He has to give it a name. That thing he's looking for. His name shall be called Emmanuel. When Jesus was born, was he called Emmanuel physically? What, what was he called? But he was called Emmanuel before time. Just give your miracle a name. This person is going to be called with us. The car I'm going to use is going to be blue. It's going to be black. It's going to be tinted. My God. Call it Corolla. Yes. Call it the name you want. Yes. Don't be saying, nah, nah, wow. the way the car done the cost now. I'm also talking to myself. <laughs> the way the car done the cost now. How much? We... Somebody sent me a car um, to my phone, you know, to check if I would like it. I, I said, I said, it's fine. How much? He said, 5.9 million. I said, it's cheap. That's what I wrote. I replied, I said, it's what? It's cheap. Some of you say, just yes. you put that smell in that hand. They will live. David, before you married September this year, you were calling that, 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 that. Are you there? You were saying, my wedding will happen in what? You told me last day that your wedding will happen on the September. And it happened this year, sir. Even when the date was almost crossing to October, like the, it entered the last day, 30 years. You, because he had called the name three years before. God made sure when he went to his pastor's, uh, his wife's pastor's office to fix dates, they looked, they said, uh -huh, this one is not free, this one is not free, this one is not free. He said, 30 years is free. It's 30 years, okay. The man does not know that. The man, he, David was not surprised that it's did that. Why? Uh, they are not with me in church. He has what? He has believed that God will visit him in his time. He has taken the posture of thanksgiving and he has called his miracle in him. Victory. Don't call January a happy moment. You're giving me the wrong thing. Don't say, eh, the way a man of Christ is being now. It's just saying by February, a person will die. Don't say, the way it is being now. Hey. Say by February, there will be abundance. Ah, abundance. In fact, we're giving each month of the year, every day. Give it something. February is my month of abundance. March is my month of next level. April is my month of more than enough. May is my month of glory. June is my month of encounters. Call that thing you are expecting the name. He said, and he told us a son shall be born. That's a miracle. A virgin will conceive. How can a virgin conceive? That's a miracle. But don't end by saying a virgin will conceive. Say his name, his name, his name shall be called. In the fullness of time, God brought it to pass. Stand to your feet.